Hey, I'm Josh. Today we're heading inside the Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you how to find books that you can resell on Amazon to make money. That's what retail arbitrage is. And yes, you can resell Dollar Tree books to make money. So let's go inside and see if we can make some Dollar Tree magic happen. Why am I doing that with my hands? Okay, don't. Please don't click off the video. That was probably the worst intro I've ever done on here. But we're heading inside the Dollar Tree anyway, and we're going to see if we can find some books to make some money. So let's grab a cart and head straight to the book section. Almost every single Dollar Tree I've ever been into had some sort of book section. So if you live near a Dollar Tree, I can almost guarantee there'll be some books in there that might be profitable. And they all look kind of eerily similar to this. There's just this one section of books where they just kind of haphazardly jam pack them in here and we have to go through and try and find the good ones. Okay, so we're only looking for books that are an absolute perfect, brand new, pristine condition. So you gotta watch out for something called a remainder mark. On the bottom, sometimes I like to put these, it's like a little dot with a marker on the bottom edge, or sometimes it's a line or a little X down there. So we're not gonna pick any of these up. Even though these are in good condition, they've gotta be in absolutely perfect condition. Okay, so there's a couple different ways to look these books up. The best way, if you can, is to scan the UPC, which is usually right on the back. And that'll bring up the listing there and the hardcover. And these are like the audio books or the eBooks down here, which we're restricted in anyway. So that's the best way to do it. Another way you can do is to just do like a picture search of the cover. Uh, I don't love this way because it will bring up like the hardcover and the paperback and possibly some other stuff that's not even related to it. So you can get a little confused. That's not the best way to do it. Okay, so another way to do it is just to flip open the book to the first couple pages in here. And there's an ISBN number down here somewhere. And it will say ISBN 780 whatever 93 hardcover. Okay, so you can just punch that number. That is actually the same as the UPC number. So you can look it up that way as well. I don't like to crack open the book if I don't have to. And the last way you can look it up is manually is just to punch in the name of the book and the author and hit search. And you can find it that way. And that'll bring up a bunch of different copies as well. So that's not the best way either. I recommend the UPC. The first book I'm looking at here is called Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. So let's flip it over here and we'll scan the UPC since that's the best way to look it up. Okay, so that brings up the hardcover and that's like the digital uh, download or ebook up top there. Okay, so the buy box is $16.94. That's the current buy it now price on Amazon. Uh, if you've never sold on Amazon and you don't know what I'm talking about when I say buy box, I'll show you what I mean by buy box. Okay, so we went on the regular Amazon app here and we're just gonna give that book a scan and we'll click on hardcover and there's the book right there and we're gonna scroll down. We went right by it, okay. There it is, there's the buy box. See that buy it now rectangle right there? That gets the sale like 90% of the time. That's what people are talking about when they say buy box. Okay, so back over to the Amazon seller app here. The buy box is $16.94. Sales rank is 48,000. That's actually pretty good for books. Usually anything under about a million is considered pretty decent. Uh, so this would be the 48,000th best-selling book on Amazon right now. And when you consider that there's millions upon millions of books on Amazon, that's actually a pretty good rank. And the next thing we look at here is we click down there and we're going to look at the number of reviews it has. It has over 10,000 four-star reviews. So we know that this book is going to sell. So we could just based on that information, just pick this book up right here and make a profit on it. But what I actually want to do is I'm going to open up another app called Profitable and give it a scan here because it'll give me a much more in-depth look at this product. So we gave it a scan and we're gonna type in our buy cost here, $1.25, and then we're gonna hit calculate. So I'm gonna scroll past this information here. We already saw this information on the Amazon seller app, it's just basic info. And the first section I'm looking at here, mostly what I'm looking for here is this number right here, this break even point. So we have to sell this for $10.22 to break even on this product. I don't know why the fees are so high on books for Amazon. I don't know. It has the fees above that. And the next most important number is 
how much profit we can make on this. So the estimated profit, it's about $5.80 minus, it'll cost about 30 cents to ship this book into Amazon. It's really cheap. Okay, so everything looks good here. So we're looking at like a five, maybe $6 profit on this. And the next thing I'm gonna look at is the price graph. This is just a basic Keepa graph, which is gonna tell us what this sells for over the past 90 days and how quickly it's selling. So we open up that graph and we're gonna turn it sideways so we can get a bigger look at it. And the main thing I'm looking, the first thing I'm looking at on here is this green line. That's the sales rank history. Anytime you see motion up and down here, that means people are buying. So if somebody buys it, it drops down and then it creeps back up a little bit and then somebody buys it. So all this motion is showing me that it's selling. And the next thing I'm looking at is this bright pink line right here. That's the buy box. That's the price it's selling for. So it never really goes below, very often below about $14 here. And it's been creeping up over the past couple months. And it's almost at $20 at one point there. So I like what I'm seeing here because if our break even is $10.22 and the price never really goes below $13 or $14, we should be able to make a few dollars at least on this book. Okay, so that's a really important piece of data. You need to look at those charts. And the next thing I'm going to look at here, if we hit this view live stock data, and this will actually show us how many copies the other sellers have inside the Amazon warehouse right now. There's a guy here selling for $14 and he has three copies. And then there's two people up here that are selling for like $18 almost. They each have a copy. This is only important, like say if the seller had like a 50 copies of this, or if Amazon had a thousand copies, I've seen that before. And you might want to steer clear of it. And this isn't really important for books, but it will tell you if there's an IP risk or if it's a hazmat. Obviously a book's not a hazmat. <laughs> Most likely, I think. And there's not going to be an IP complaint. We won't get into that here. And this section below that is also really important because we can look at the advanced historical data. So let's look at the 30-day historical data. So what am I looking at down here? So mostly what I'm looking at is this buy box price average. So for the last 30 days, it's been 1662. And if we click on the 90-day, it was 1463. We look back 180 days, it's 1375 and 365 for the whole year, it's actually the average is 1193. But if you'll notice here that the averages for the whole entire year, it never goes below our break even point. So, you know, worst case scenario, we'd have to sell this for maybe $12 and still make a couple dollars profit on this, even though the price has been creeping up. And the next thing I'm looking at is the number of sales rank drops. This is gonna tell me about how many times this has sold the whole year. So it's selling about two copies a day, 525 uh, times. And it gave me the average sales rank. It's 60,000 for the 365 day average. So this is definitely a book you'd wanna pick up to make money. I filmed this video several weeks ago and all the stuff you're seeing in this video has already been sent off into Amazon and was available for sale. This book sold for $19.84, which gave me about an $8.40 profit. All right, next book I found here is a book called Very Nice, a novel by, uh, who cares? Let's flip it over and find the UPC on the back here. Give it a scan with the Amazon Seller app. Okay, there it is. The buy box is $14.80. That looks pretty good in the sales rank. It's a bit high at 700000 ish and Like I said earlier, anything under a million is pretty decent. I like to stay a little bit lower than that, around 700000 or lower if I can. Let's take a look at the number of reviews. Okay, so there's 293 reviews. That's pretty good. So this would definitely sell uh, at some point. Now we're gonna open up Profital and give it a scan here. So we can take a more in-depth look at this book. Type in our price is $1.25. Hit calculate. Okay, there's the book. And the first section I'm looking at is right here. Our break-even point is $10.78. I wish, the, I wish the fees on these books weren't so high. Uh, so our break even is 1078. And our estimated profit right now would be about $4, a little less than $4. So we can take a look at the price graph here. Let's do the 365 day price graph and take a look and see how quickly this thing is selling. Okay, so remember the first thing I'm looking at for is this green line here, the sales rank history. And I'm seeing some motion on here. 
Uh, definitely enough to pick it up. It's selling a few times per month at least. And then we're looking at the price here, the bright line right there. So the pink line is, it's kind of all over the place, but it really looks like it never goes down below about $10 here, hardly ever. Most of the time it's riding high around close to $15 up there, 13, 14 bucks. Okay, so let's take another look. We'll scroll down here. I'm not gonna mess with the stock data right now. Uh, we know it's not a hazmat, so keep moving down to this section, the price data. Let's look at the 30-day data. Buyback average is $13.60. The 90-day average is $13.82. We'll look at the 180-day. If the average is $13.07, 365, it's averaging $13.99. So that's a nice, steady average price I'm seeing. So if I was a gambling man, guess what price I think we could probably sell this at? Yeah, about like $13.99 or so, right? That would be my guess. Let me take a look at the average sales rank. Okay, so it's selling about 89 times per year. Uh, this is definitely a book I think I would pick up as well. This book sold for $14.80, which gave me about a $3.50 profit. I'm rich. Checking out this book here, like carrot juice on a cupcake. What is this book about? Schizophrenia or something? Okay, so let's give this a cover scan here. So we're gonna have to sift through these listings to find the right one. Okay, so that one says hardcover right there. So that's the right one. The buy box is $16.24. The sales ranks quite a bit high. It's over a million. It's like 1.15 million. Try stay below a million if you can. But let's take a look at this on Profitable. So we've got it scanned in on Profitable. And there's the book right there. And here's the section we're looking at first. The break even point is $8.31. I don't know why the fees on this are a little bit lower. Maybe because it's a little bit lighter or smaller, but whatever. So our profit is almost $8 on this, but the sales rank is a bit high at over a million. Okay, so we'll look at the 365 day price graph. So let's take a look here. Okay, so I'm seeing enough motion on here. So when the price goes down a bit closer to that below 15, maybe 12 or $13 is selling pretty well. And when the price is up over $20, it's not really selling very well. You can see on the right here. So I'd actually feel okay at pricing this a little bit lower around that $13, $14 range. It would probably sell pretty quickly. Okay, let's scroll down here. Let's go to the price data, advanced historical data. Okay, so for 365 days, the buy box average price has been $17.12. 180 days, it's at $18.13. 90 days, it's at $16.61. And the last 30 days, it's at $16.39. So the average is really, it's never going below $16. So we're only getting this for $1.25. This is another, it's a little bit questionable because of the sales rank. Let's take a look at the 365 day average. Okay, so for the whole year, the average sales rank is 878,000. So again, this book probably won't sell very quick, but we could make about a $5 profit on it. You could pick this up. This book took the longest to sell, but it did sell at $16.24, which was a bit higher than I thought it was gonna sell for, and it did give me about a $7 profit. So I really like this Profitable app. That's Profit with an L at the end. I've been using it for a few months now. It's got all the data you need to make a really good decision on products in the store. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check it out. They offer a free trial period, and you can use the code JOSH20 to get 20% off of a monthly plan, or JOSH365 to get 5% off of a yearly plan. So just for fun, let's check out these DVDs here and see if we can find anything that's profitable. They've got a ton here. I mean, they've got those and then underneath, there's another row underneath that. They've probably got a thousand DVDs right here. So let's check them out. Okay, so we got this blue right here called Beirut starring John Hamm. So let's flip it over and give it a scan with the Amazon seller app. Okay, so the buy box is 1087 and the sales rank isn't too bad at 43,000. That's not terrible for the category of Blu-rays and DVDs. Uh, let's see who else is selling it. So we'll click on new. It has 810 four-star reviews, which is pretty good. And the lowest FBA person has it. We know they're FBA because of that Prime logo there. 
these people under it, they're merchant fulfilling it, meaning they're storing at their house or their warehouse or whatever. Uh, I like to do FBA, so I look mostly for the FBA prices. Okay, it's 1087. We'll hit the back button here. And let's click down here and we'll stay on the Amazon app for a minute and see how much we can make on this. So we'll click on Amazon fulfilled. We'll type in our buy cost for $1.25. Okay, so we could make about that green number. We could make about $2 and like 70 cents on this. Now shipping DVDs to Amazon is really cheap. I did a video, I'll put a link to it or something where I shipped a bunch of DVDs and it cost about six cents per DVD to ship in. So we'd make about $2.75 or so. So I'd probably pick this up. And we can give this a scan with Profitable if we want to. So let's do it since we're here. Okay, so we'll put in our buy costs, $1.25. Hit calculate and see what's going on. I know there's a lot of information on this Profitable app. I didn't even cover all the things it can do. There's so much information on here. It looks like we're trying to launch a spaceship from our phone, uh, but I'm really only looking at about four or five key points of data for these products. It's mostly like, what's the break-even point? 716, what are the fees? And how much profit can we make on this? And then the next thing I look at is uh, like, does this product actually sell? Which I can see on this price graph here, which is just a keeper graph. Lots of motion on the green line, the sales rank history. And then what does it typically sell for? Which that's easy to see down here on the historical data section. So we clicked on 365 days. The buy box average is for the whole year, $17.56. And it's dropping down. The 90 day average is $14.72. But we should be able to sell this for about 10 or 11 bucks. And who knows, it might even go back up a little bit to, so you know, 14 bucks. So this Blu-ray sold for $9.03, which was a little bit less than I thought it would sell for, but I still ended up making about $1.30 on it, which is about 100% ROI. If you'll notice, some of the stuff I bought sold for a little bit more than I thought it would, and some of it sold for exactly what I thought it would, and some of it sold for a little bit less, but at no point did the bottom just fall out of the listing and put me into a loss. If you look at all the data, you can pretty accurately predict what price range something is gonna stay in, and keep yourself out of trouble. All right, let's give this DVD a scan here with the Amazon seller app. Okay, it appears, it looks like it's that top listing right there. Okay, so the sales rank is 27,000. That's actually pretty good for DVDs. And the buy box is 13.98. So this would actually be profitable. It looks like it'd have about a four to $5 profit on it. That's crazy. I can't believe this movie. Am I about to pick this movie up? Are you nuts? From executive producer Spike Lee, The Girl is in Trouble, starring Wilder Valder, starring Fez from That 70s Show, and a bunch of people that nobody cares about. No rules, no fear, just revenge. Coming to a Dollar Tree near you. As if I wasn't going to do a movie trailer in here. That's the only reason I even made this video. Okay, so let's, let's scan this DVD called Pet Party with the Amazon seller app. Okay, so that one right there, sales rank is 54,000 for Pet Party. It's almost as popular on Amazon as Beirut, and it's profitable at $9.40. Let's give Beirut a scan here. Yeah, the sales rank for Beirut, how is Beirut a movie that had a budget of probably $20 million and starring these A-list actors has almost the same sales rank as Pet Party. A video that probably someone who owns a pet store just stole a bunch of animals and filmed them in a field with their iPhone. How is that possible? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that what I think it is? Is that what I think it is? It is what I thought it was. It's Dollar Tree Floral Moss. Wait, what? what you thought that looked like something else? Man, that would be a lot for $1.25, I'd say. I mean, what state are we even in here? Am I in Michigan? Oh, cool, they got ropes. I think I might get a rope today. That looks pretty nice. Wait, did they put a llama on a toothpaste tube? Hi, kids, I'm the Cavity Protection Llama. I'm here to scare you into brushing your teeth twice a day. Wait, that's not a llama, I think that's a sheep. It doesn't make sense either way, and I like it. I've definitely flipped Dollar Tree hats on eBay before. The margins are really slim. 
I didn't make a lot of money. It was more of a test just to see if I could actually do it. And you can actually flip these. I don't recommend it, but it is possible. And so it begins the end of the Dollar Tree as we know it. Three dollars, four dollars, five. They're just charging whatever they want at this point. Hey, maybe we should put a sign up on the door or something. Well, I got this paint over here. Why don't we just finger paint it right on the door? And of course, the Dollar Tree has these Jesus candles right here. These are actually on Amazon. Amazon carries these things. I don't know if they were profitable or not, but they always kind of remind me of this emoticon or emoji thing right here. You know, young kids see this painting from like 1300 of Jesus and they're like, Jesus was like, eh? A lot of Dollar Trees will actually have Hot Wheels in them. And most of these are not going to be profitable, unfortunately. But if you can find the right one, like there's a 58 Impala truck that's going for $13.89 on Amazon. And I can't find it anywhere, but there's another red truck that goes for some really decent money. And I will say they're almost getting a little too creative with these Hot Wheels. Like this is just a dude in a wheelchair. And here we have a turtle that they just strapped some wheels on. And I like it. And they got a whole bunch of wrapping paper up in here. Baby Yoda, Star Wars, da 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 Star Wars, da 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 Star Lightsaber Fight. Oh, like you never had a fight with these when you were a kid, you liar. Okay, so this is what we picked up in here today. A couple books, a couple DVDs. All right, let's head up to the register and let's just see how dead behind the eyes this cashier is today. It's a little game I like to play when I head to the register. No, but seriously, it really kills me to see how sad, dejected, and broken some of these cashiers are when I come in here to these stores. It really breaks my heart. I wish we could do something about it. I want to save them all. Just take them home and save them. So you could, you could go to Starbucks and buy a grande decaf iced Americano with three pumps of honey blend in it. Or you could take that $5, head to the Dollar Tree, and turn that $5 into more dollars. Or you could do both like me, which is probably not a good plan. But if you were to take $5 and put it into the S&P 500 today, how long do you think it would take you to turn that $5 into $15 or $20? It would take you like 30 years to turn that into $15. Where with my Dollar Tree plan, you can take that five bucks in there and turn it into about 15 bucks in about three weeks to three months. All of this stuff should sell in about 90 days or less, give or take. I'm just showing you how to do it. That's really all I got for you today. I'm Josh. That's what I did today, and I'll see you next time.